hands, inhale deeply, and then slow exhalation with few blinks. Slowly open your eyes. Now come to standing position. We'll go for Surya Namaskara. Four rounds we'll do 12 steps Surya Namaskara. Four rounds we'll do 10 steps Surya Namaskara. And four rounds we'll be doing Guru Namaskara. Okay? Standard front portion of the mat. Join your both legs and wrap Namaskara Mandra. Start Urdhvasana. Lift your hands up. Push your waist, bend back, stretch your neck. Hastapadasana. Slowly bend forward. Keep your knees straight and bend your head. Ekapada, right leg back. Knee on the floor, stretch your neck and look forward. Dvipada, keep your body straight and look forward. Shashankasana, knees on the floor, hips on your heels and bend your head. Sashtanga, place your knee just chin out forward on the floor. Bhujangasana, Bhudarasana, Shashankasana, right leg front. Astavada, Urdhvasana, Astavadasana, left leg back, Dvipada Shasranasana, Shashanka, Sashtanga, Bhujangasana, Bhudayasana, Shashanka, Left leg front, Hastapadasana, Urdhvasana, Hastapadasana, right leg back, Dvipada, Shashankhasana, Sashtanga, Bhujangasana, Bhudarasana, Shashankhasana, right leg front, Hastapadasana, Urdhvasana, Hastapadasana, left leg back, Dvipada, Shashankhasana, Sashtanga, Bhujangasana, Bhudarasana, Shashankhasana, left front, Hastapadasana, Udvasana, Hastapadasana, right leg back, Vipada, 10 steps, Sashtanga, Bhujangasana, Bhudarasana, right leg front, Hastapadasana, Urdhvasana, Hastapadasana, Left back, Dvipada, Sashtanga, Bhujangasana, Bhudarasana, Left leg front, Hastapada, Urdhva, Hastapada, Right leg back, Dvipada, Sashtanga, Bhujangasana, Bhudarasana, Right front, Hastapadasana, Urdhvasana, Hastapadasana, Left leg back, Dvipada, Sashtanga, Bhujanga, Bhudarasana, Left front, Hastavadasana, Urdhvasana, Namaskara. Now stand in back portion of mat. We'll go for Guru Namaskara, Adak Namaskara Mudra. Start Harman Vajasana, left leg front. Harman Vajamandarasana, Ekapada, Bhudarasana. Keep your legs apart and bend your head. Danda Bhujangasana. Put your body down and come up. Aapuch the Bhudara. Knees on the floor. Jam your heels. Bend your head. Left leg front. Hanuman Bhujangasana. 
Vishranti. Right leg front, Hanuman Vajasana. Hanuman Vajamanasana. Ekapala. Bhudayasana. Danda Bhujangasana. Akunchita Bhudayasana. Right leg front. Hanuman Vajamanasana. Vishranti. Two more round. Hanuman Vajasana, left leg front. Hanuman Vajvanasana, Ekaparasana, Bhudarasana, legs apart and bring your head. Danda Bhujangasana, Akunchita Bhudarasana, left leg front. Hanuman Vajvanasana, Vishranti. Last round. Right leg front, Hanuman Vajasana, Hanuman Vajamanasana, Ekapadasana, Bhudarasana. Just remember, Danda Bhujanga. We do it for five times Danda Bhujanga. Bhujanga and five times, okay? Start one, down, up, go back to Bhudara, two, down, up. Bhudana, three down, up, Bhudana, four down, up, Bhudana, five down, up. Up to the Bhudana, knees on the floor, join your heels, bend your head. Right at front, Hanuman Vajramanasana. Vishanti, knees straight at your foot, come back, now sit on your mat and relax. Sit in Sukhasana, relax chin mudra in your both hands, your back should be straight, just close your eyes, relax. Just consciously observe your breath movement. Just feel the incoming and outgoing breath. Just observe your breath and relax your body. Ananas. Once inhale deeply and then slow exhalation. Palming, just rub your palms each other, make your palms warm. Give cup shape your palms and place it on the closed thumbs. Feel warmth of the palms and relax your eyes. Release your hands slowly with few blinks. Slowly open your eyes and look at your palms. Release. Now, slowly come to standing position. We will go for Adha Kadi Chakrasana. Okay, last class we did uh, in uh, Previous session we did other Gri Chakrasana by sliding on the wall. Today you should not slide on the wall, you should uh, do without taking support on the wall. Here you should join your both legs and then you should stand straight. Same thing as you inhale, you should lift your hand to the shoulder level exhalation. Everything will be the same and you can use the photo. You just take one pick of doing in front of wall and when you come away from the wall also, you should be having the same perfection. 
I mean the alignments and all should be the same. Your shoulders and your legs should align the straight line, and your shoulders should not go back. You should uh, follow all these key points and do other kritiya crafts na even though by coming away from the wall. Okay, well, join your both legs, stand straight. First step, stretch your right hand to the shoulder level, as you inhale. Exhale, turn your right arm up. Once again, inhalation, stretch your right hand over the head. Stretch your hand further upward. By maintaining the upward stretch, start bending to the left by pushing your waist. Bend your hand to the stride. Stay in the position. Breathe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stay eleven, twelve. Don't give up. 13 14 breathe 15 16 keep your posture stable 18 19 20 so the cup as you inhale stretch your hand further upward exhale bring your hand to shoulder level turn your palm down drop your hand and relax in shivala dhanasana let your eyes be closed and relax Awareness. Once inhale deeply, and then slow exhalation. Now slowly open your eyes. We'll do it from other side. Join your legs again. Stand erect. Now stretch your left hand to the shoulder level as you inhale. Exhalation. Turn your left palm up. Try to lift your hand over the head. Stretch your hand further upward. By extending your body, start bending to the right and stay in the position. Your body should be straight. Twenty, nineteen, eighteen, seventeen, sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come up as you inhale. Stretch your hand for the upward. Exhale. Turn your palm down. Drop your hand and relax. And shift the third asana again. Just close your eyes and relax. Blinks. Slowly open your eyes. Now just sit on your mat. Now we'll do a practice which is called as Ardha Navasana. Here, first you should sit in Dhanda Asana, and then you should interlock your hands behind your head, and then you should point your toes by keeping your back straight. You should lean back. And then today you should try to balance on your hips, and you should lift your both legs to the forehead level. Your knees should be absolutely straight. Okay, we'll do it together. Join your both legs. Just interlock your hands behind your head. You should not bend your head. Keep your back straight. Point your toes. Now lean back. Try to keep your back straight and lean back, and lift your legs to the forehead level. Stay in the position. One. Two, knee should be straight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Twenty. Slow release and relax in Shivala Dandasana. Legs apart. Put your head back. Close your eyes and relax. Let's go on. 
Let's inhale deeply. Slow breath out. With few blinks, slowly open your eyes. Bono Uttar Kriyasana. Now sit at front portion of the mat. You can tuck your tops. Now just fold your both legs, catch your middle legs. Uh, do it for 10 times. Start. One. Come up. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Now let your legs be folded and lie on your back. Relax. Now just for the next practice. It's similar to Merudandasana. But you should fold your legs and you should stretch your hands over the head. You should lift your upper body and try to minimize the gap between your chest and your thighs like this. As you exhale, you should lift your body up and then go back. You should come up, go back. Okay. Fold your legs, hands over the head. Start one up, release. Two. Release. Three. Release. Four. Release. Five. Release. Six. Release. Seven. Release. Eight. Release. Nine. Release. Ten. Release. Eleven. Release 12, release 13, release 14, release 15, release 16, release 17, release 18, release 19, release 20, relax, just your legs apart, relax your abdominal muscles, just keep your back, relax your back and abdomen region. Just was the next practice. Here you should fold your both the legs and then you should lift your right both the legs in 90 degree. From your fingertips, you should try to touch your toes and then just drop your left leg down to 10 degree and you should keep on interchanging. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll do it for 20 counts. Okay. First fold your both legs. Lift your legs up in 90 degree. From your fingertips, try to touch your toes and drop your left leg to 10 degree. Starting to change in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, you are able to relax. Relax your abdomen reaching. Feel the changes happen at your abdomen reaching. Now just place your palms at both the sides of the waist. Let your legs be folded. And then just lift your waist up. Stay in the position. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then slowly release. Now stretch your hands in the shoulder level. Let your legs be folded. Mark the asana. One, twist your legs to the right and turn your face to the left. Two, but then up. Breathe out, twist to the left. Three, twist right. Four, twist left. Five, twist right. Six, twist left, seven, twist right, eight, twist left, nine, twist right, ten, twist left, eleven, twist right, stay one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, left, twist your legs to the left and turn your face to the right, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, slowly lift, stretch your legs and relax in Shavasana, keep your legs apart. Hands away from the body, palms facing upward, eyes should be closed and relax to your body. Loosen all the muscles. Especially relax your abdomen region. Just literally collapse your whole body on the floor. Take out all the tensions from your muscles. Loosen your body further and further. Just enjoy the relaxation. 